a relatively normal hip over here. It's not completely normal, but that's a pretty darn good hip. And you've got a ball, and you've got a socket. This is the right hip because the patient's laying there like that. And you can see there is a space between the top and the bottom bone. That was 2004. By 2010, that space is completely gone. Now that took six years, but that can, at times, take six months. It's amazing how quickly you can lose the cartilage in the joint sometimes. Now, in addition to the loss of cartilage, and go back a slide now if you would, a couple of other things happen. So cartilage is gone. Next thing you see is you see some little bone spurs. And it's tempting to say, let's go shave off those bone spurs and everything will get better, but it doesn't get better. Shaving away the bone spurs doesn't bring back the cartilage. And so people ask me and I tell them, unfortunately, that's not gonna do anything. Remember we were talking about cysts and how the bone sort of coalesces to form these big sort of vacuum vacuoles. So this gray area up here, I know that's a little hard to see, but that slightly darker gray area right at the top of the socket, that's a cyst. Um, and then the final thing that happens, so joint space narrowing, bone cysts and bone spurs, those are the three most important signs of hip or knee osteoarthritis.